YouTube, what the mythic crap is going on? Heir of Carthage here, and we are back in the uh, ancient Aegean here, and um, Mediterranean, I should say. I don't know. We are, this is the Aegean Sea over here, I think. Um, we're having a good time with Odysseus. We are uh, tearing through. Sorry, it's been a while since the last episode. Things have just been busy. I was, I've got a lot I want to record right now. Unfortunately, over the next few days, I actually have some time to record, so... Prepare yourself for a little bit of video overload, and we'll make up for some of what I wasn't able to get recently, um, which will make me feel better. I hate it when I can't record all the stuff I want to. I know it's it's probably crazy, but I mean, I've been doing YouTube for a long time, a lot longer than most folks on here, um, with the exception of maybe like Lionheart. <laughs> and um, man, I, uh, I just don't get tired of it, and I, I find myself wanting to do it all. There's been occasions where, like, a recording won't work, and it gets me pretty bummed out. But uh, other than that, like, I just really enjoy making videos, and I don't really ever want to stop. So fire whilst moving. That's a strafe ability, so for 60 seconds they can fire whilst I wish it was just permanent. Strafe speed specialization. Missing there. Fire while moving. It just dismounted. Strafe speed hero ability. Huh? 50% missile damage. 30, 30, 30. Moving. Unit is dismounted. Unit is dismounted. 30% missile resistance. 30%. Or missile damage, 50, 30, 30 melee defense, 50, so try this one, um, see how that one works out. Okay, let's exit that. So Odysseus is uh, getting some of his troops put back together. I'm not able to build up much in Nossos. Let's check our incomes. Uh, not fantastic on bronze right now, but we, we're giving away some in diplomacy. Um, stone should be just fine, um, because we don't use tons of it. We've got wood in pretty good shape, and we're in okay shape. If I remember right, I had picked up a new lord up here just to come up here and recruit some sirens, and we're about to have some, so I'm gonna have him sail those down. It's gonna be a while before they get to Odysseus, but we will be ready when the time comes. Let's end a turn. I was bringing my spy up to see if he could help me out. How are y'all enjoying the game so far? It's been out for a few weeks. Has uh, I haven't actually gotten to beat a campaign, and have y'all gotten to beat the campaign? How does the game rank for you? I'm curious. So for me, for instance, um, it is a good Total War game. I think 3K is also... Um, I'm planning to go back to 3K once I finish some series up. I want to hit the new DLC, but for me to start the new DLC right now when I've got so much other stuff going on just doesn't seem feasible. Um, yeah. Um, so, in any case, yeah, that's that's why I haven't um, hit the new 3K DLC. I want to. They're both good games. Neither one beats Warhammer, in my opinion, because I just like Fantasy Total War at this point. It's really, really good. But it doesn't mean that this stuff isn't fun. And obviously, if you're a person of different preference, something like this could really fit in your wheelhouse. And so, I don't know, I hope you all are enjoying this one. I, considering that this game was free, if you claimed it in the first 24 hours... I mean, I this game's pretty fantastic. Um, I've played a lot of free games, and they blow. And uh, this is not that. So, <laughs> this is not that. Uh, let's see if we can murmur some sedition here. We failed. Excellent. I didn't really want to succeed anyway. <laughs> Sarcastically speaking, I actually did want to succeed, clearly. Let's see, we got enough wood to do some upgrades. Uh, let's crank up the food, because we're about to recruit those sirens. This farmland will be a worthwhile investment. It takes a lot of gold to run that upgrade. And we just don't have a lot of gold coming in right now, because even though I captured a gold settlement, its reserve is depleted. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and spend some of that. I think we got to wait another turn before we can recruit sirens, and I'm busy replenishing, so let's take care of business. I really love the music in this game. It's a very nice ambiance, and for some reason, like, it just feels like it melds with that background and that sky the way they draw it. I don't know why, but it really looks good. It's really cool. 
It makes me wish that they could do something, you know, kind of grim dark art style like this with Warhammer 3. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of things they could do with Warhammer 3, but I mean, there's a lot of things from these newer games that I do hope that they can carry into uh, that game. So we got a rebellion here again. I've got this army that we're using to put down rebellions. We probably won't make it back there in time. Uh, we're already in a march stance, so let's uh, truck it back over here. And let's see, how are we on sirens? We can start recruiting some sirens. Glory awaits Local us. recruitment. Sirens, what do they cost me? They cost gold to recruit, but they only cost food to upkeep. Whew, we're gonna have to wait a while before I can recruit enough, so we're gonna be sitting on this one for a little bit because uh, gold's a bit on short supply right now. I have to make sure I don't accidentally spend it. We got a crap load of bronze and our income is back up now too. Like, we just have an absolute crap ton of bronze. Let's upgrade all these wood settlements. We've got a ton of food, too. So we're good in that regard. I think we have replenished Odysseus enough. Of Odysseus of Ithaca. The subtle blade. People deserve the truth. There we go. These well, guys are going to suffer attrition now. Truth. Maybe. I don't know if it works. Wait, is Sparta? Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's right, I wanted to trade Sparta for this. Oh, man. You may find I hate you, Sparta. I really do. I wonder how much uh, more land over here Sparta has taken. Let's go find out. This is not Sparta. Non-aggression partners, trade partners, enemies. Well, they don't have any friends, so... War is declared, my friend. War were declared. Did you ever see that Futurama episode where they go join the, uh, the military just to get a discount on gum? And, uh, and Fry's like, so we can just quit? And he's like, yep. He's like, unless war were declared. <laughs> and then a siren goes off, and they're like, what's that? The guy's like, war were declared. <laughs> Oh man, that show is so good! If you haven't watched Futurama, it's funny. It's really funny. Why do you want me giving you so much bronze, Achilles? You know what? Just because just I'm your friend, okay? Just because I'm your friend. There you go. Have some bronze. I'm sitting on a lot right now, so... I think it's impressive that you can only be hurt if your Achilles heel is torn. Um, no, not you. You're not my friend. Achilles I like. You, not so much. I still remember that war early on. You too, Pylos. Don't think I've forgotten it. What are these guys doing? Did they kill the uh, rebels? They may have. Ithaca's lord. Ithaca's lord. Engage the foe. All right, let's grab us another settlement here. Kick him in the nuts. This city is ours now. Yes, it is. It does not have a seaport, but it'll be more wood. Here we have a port, so that's good news. And then we'll be in most total control of this island. Do Freaking Sparta. Or provoking me. And I hate how the trade region works on here. Like, I, it's so stupid. Like, why do I have to trade him something right next door? That's not what I want. I have a property over here that I'd be more than happy to give him. This one, right here. Just let me trade what I want to. Don't make it next door. I, you know, I gotta get a hold of CA and of see if I can talk to him about that, because I really hate that. Like, it... That's the whole point of having region trading in the game, is so I every time I run into that scenario where I'm one settlement away from having a province because the AI is a bunch of jack anuses, you can trade it back off of them and I don't have to declare war on them. And I'm, I'd be tempted to declare war on Sparta, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna exercise some restraint that I don't normally have. I still need to get some more gold if we wanna have more um, sirens. Yeah, I guess the rebellion's gone. So whatever, I'll just park over here for a little while. We need to upgrade these settlements. It'll probably give them slightly more defense. Let's 
get to fast forward on this turn end. Nope. Rejected. Rejected. So we can lose some happiness and resources, but we get food, we can burn the crops. Whatever, burn the crops, don't care. Um, let's feed the fishermen, because we don't need the extra food. Right, what we got here? Let's uh, build that up to tier three. Seems relevant. How close are we? Uh, trying to remember the recruit cost here for the siren. All right, 67. So I'm gonna have to have uh, at least 200 gold to get three of these things. I'd like to have four, so unfortunately I'm gonna end up sitting even longer than I had previously intended to. But, you know, I guess it'll be worth it in the end. Oh, I can't quite get eyes on it. Odysseus the Cunning. Odysseus the Cunning. You're very cunning, Odysseus. Very cunning, sir. Morale. Morale is lame. Morale of spear units. Axe units. Lame, lame. Six battle speed. Now we're talking. Battle speed might actually mean something. He says Borhelm. Got a unique spear, followers, and items. Excellent. All right. We've got enough wood to uh, build some stuff. We've also got plenty of stone. Can you get out of here? What are, they, what are these guys? Heavy spear, heavy shielded spearmen. Nice. Let's go ahead and start with the lower tier and work our way up, though. Well, we still got enough, so let's do it. Build this place up. Get some nice food output. We'll be all replenished, and we should be able to go after this uh, settlement. It is walled, I believe. It's time we put differences aside. Military access. Um... No, no, I, I, I don't think it's actually time for us to put stuff aside, so I disagree. Diomedes, dude, when are you going to take a hint, okay? Do I got to have someone spell it out for you? Come on, man. A well-placed blade can avert all. A rioting populace is a perfect distraction. Yes, yes, perfect. Attrition inflicted on units in army after successful assassination. Ooh. It's kind of cool. Extra campaign movement range when embedded. That could be good later. There we go. Put that skill point to work. Ever Odysseus, you beautiful soul. Oh, wait. We got another faction to declare war on? Fantastic. Yep. Remember how you wanted me to make that agreement with you? Yeah, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. I don't know what these odds are. Amazons, huh? Aren't you guys supposed to be a DLC? <laughs> Let's do this thing. Watch me get whipped by these Amazons. They're like, air, we're DLC. Don't you know we're overpowered? All right, here we go. If I win this battle, does it make me sexist? Probably. I need an opinion on that. Um, the foe gonna... has sighted your hidden units. How have they sighted my hidden units? It hasn't even started. Um, don't be bullcrapping me. Oh yeah, these guys can't vanguard. They're like air. Come on, bro.
Okay, let's get the battle started. Storm the walls. Okay. Gonna try and get on the walls quick before they have a time to do a whole lot of missile damage. Have a foothold on their walls. And then hopefully we can take them on in melee. They did have some decent looking sword units. Get the gates, Achilles. Or Achilles. Uh, you all know what I meant. Odysseus, Achilles. You are about to capture the gates. Let's uh, stop firing at will. I wonder if we can get out of these power radius. We can, I think, we get up really close here. Let's um, do a little less fire at will over here. That should stop their skirmisher units on the walls from firing in. I'm just trying to get um, completely out of the uh, cone of fire here. The enemy gates have been destroyed. Excellent. Get in here, Odysseus. Let's go start tearing these guys a new one. All right, you, uh, you blokes over here. I'm gonna need your help. You have captured the enemy tower. Hey, Odysseus. When I said uh, get through the gate, like I actually kind of meant it. Like I, I didn't want you to just get hung up. Yeah, there you, you go. The gates. He's a genius. Okay, I'm gonna need you all to get in here quick. We got problems. All right, come on. Those light swordsmen are taking a beating. These Amazons mean business. Your warriors are losing heart. I agree. Yeah, they are. These angry Amazons. Go get her, Odysseus. Come on, push up through here. Alright, we've started to win on the walls. Our soldiers will be uh, able to start climbing down here in a minute. They've almost finished assaulting the walls. Uh, let's see, where are my spear runners at? Come on, gents, I need you. Alright, let's get down here and uh, help out this infantry fight. Cause it's going to be a big one. Get him, Odysseus. I wonder if we can bring our skirmishers around and uh, get this Amazon leader with javelins. Probably so. Good, my spear runners are coming up. All right, we're done with the ladders. Let's go ahead and get down from the walls. Still getting some uh, pretty good fights over there. Odysseus, where are you? Uh, what? What did you do? Did I click that? Why can't I remember what I did a few seconds ago? All right, let's come over here. Hey, uh, you all uh, get her. I need some reinforcements here. Let's get the heavy sword skirmishers in this fight, and then we'll outflank with the uh, spear runners. These Amazons have put up more of a fight than I would have thought. I'm impressed. They got some. They got some respect. Let's get down from these walls here, and then let's get our light swords to start running these units down. I can and will willingly. I will. There we go. One of Done your broke him up. No more ammunition. Excellent. All right, we defeated the Amazons. They actually had some pretty cool troops there. Kind of excited for that DLC. Hopefully, it'll be fun. As long as they put like some unique campaign mechanics, 
And I understand there's only so much you can do with sword, spear, axe, all that kind of stuff, but I think it's unique abilities that make units more fun. So like my sword skirmishers have a fire whilst moving javelin. You know, that's really cool. That, that's a nice touch um, that they get. And so having that kind of stuff, um, just give us as much variation on the units as possible. To me, it's uh, very nice here. It's night of morale, all units, aura size, influence in this region. Excellent. Close victory, province secured. Isn't there a place here where we can recruit, uh... Is it, uh... I, th I thought there was a place on this island where you could recruit, uh... A Minotaur. Someone said that it's like a little... Is it this right here? Yeah. Corribantes. Related buildings can be constructed in the settlement with the recruitment of Corribantes. Requires a level 3 Cult of Hera. See, I've got the Cult of Poseidon here. I like having the Cult of Poseidon, but maybe this isn't the right place to have it. Let's demolish it here, build it in the other place. I really want to get some uh, nicer units that uh, use bronze. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, what, what did I just use all my gold on? I used all my gold on something. What did I use my gold on? What did I upgrade? Crap. This. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's why I didn't do it on the last one. I'm saving that gold, man. Lay off me. We'll get some gold back from that, too. Perfect. Of course, I'll probably have to spend it to rebuild the uh, one to Hera in order to see what we can recruit there. Just make sure we don't spend any gold and we should be good. They're gonna have wood per turn, food. Now, why is it where I've noticed us being able to build this kind of stuff before in these settlements? But uh, let's start rebuilding our uh, Poseidon one here. Because I kind of like being able to move faster at sea. Take gold. Yeah, it just takes the uh, wood resource. All right, let's see what else we got. Nassos. Got the wood and stone for that. And let's see. A few more turns, and we should be ready to start recruiting some sirens. I always keep, like, accidentally almost saying sirens. Go ahead and use that. There we go. Let's end the turn. Fast forward here. All right, so we control the whole of Nassos. Or Crete, whatever they called this island. Rebellion is imminent. Where it be imminent? Here? Good. I'm right there to do something about it, so it works out perfect. We will win through. Let's move over here and just be kind of ready to go. Yep, still going to happen. So we'll take care of that when it happens. What are we going to do with this guy? What does he do when he's standing still? Let me remind myself. Dispensation standing passive. Increases production of the local region. Is there gold mine? Oh, that's their gold mine. I want that gold mine. Using misinformation against you, people will speak of us positively. All right, let's level this dude up. Agent action at settlements. Okay. We've got a fair bit of gold now because we tore down that other building. Might be a good time to go ahead and recruit um, four sirens. How come you can't there? Finally was able to click the map. I'm like, click, darn you. All right, we need a, what was it? It was Terra? Let's read that again. Related buildings can be constructed in the settlement. The recruitment requires a level three cult of Hera. So we have to have the cult of Hera. Stalkers, warriors of Ithaca. What other building is it we have to build? I don't see any of those units here. Level 3. Altar of Zeus. Temple of Hera. 
Oh, no, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. The recruitment requires level three Cult of Hera. Yeah, so that means we gotta get way up here with Hera. Ooh, that won't be easy. That will not be easy. Minotaur related buildings. Okay, this is actually what I'm looking for here. But it requires level 3 Cult of Zeus. Man, all this level 3 requirements. Man, just give me the fun stuff, CA. <laughs> just give me the fun stuff. Quit holding out on me. Build an altar of Zeus. No, 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 no. Here I wanted. Altar of Hera, I guess. I'll put it in an altar up here. See what happens. Okay. Nope. Not spinning that because it requires gold. Let's head back up here. Alright, bro. Give me some sirens. This lady's got some mad missile damage. We can only have three. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. I understand. See, wanting to limit my fun. <laughs> Why can't you... It's so frustrating, like, you can't click. Look, I'm double-clicking all over this, and it won't go there. I don't know why it does that. Shining Odysseus. You are positively glowing, Odysseus. Positively glowing. So uh, take our, our uh, unit out here and do some scouting. Looks like there might be a settlement over here. Let's see what we're going to be coming up on. I haven't played a whole lot further than this into a campaign before, so I'm not very familiar with the terrain in front of me. I've conquered Crete, but I haven't conquered these other areas yet. Let's see, Cape North Acadians. What do you want? Yeah, you can't win. See you later, rebel scum. I wonder if we can uh, get a good trade, because I, part of me wants to trade these uh, provinces back to uh, Agamemnon. I, I know it's Agamemnon, I call him Agamemnon. Uh, just to try and like gather some, you know, some cred with him. I figure it'd be fun to kind of team up all the Danans here, the Greeks. Is this Troy? No, no, this is an Achaean faction. Giants. Priestess agent. The helping hand of fate. Who are these guys allied to? We've got plenty no to one? Discuss. Yeah, well, you got problems. You got problems, I'd say. I can make your enemies disappear. They'll believe their leaders are incompetent. Good. I mean, most of us do have incompetent leaders, so I mean, that's something we're all just used to. Um, is that attrition out there? That sucks. It's totally attrition. Maybe we can get here and then I have to sit in open sea attrition. Yeah, deep waters. So stay in these coastal waters then. Uh, maybe we can just force sail. Yeah, there we go. We're good. We're good. Get over here and fight. we want to build is there a better bronze building here yes there is it just costs gold to build the higher tiers of it um, let's tear this down oops There we go. Tear that down. How are we doing in these joints? Alright, 
let's spend up some of these resources. Earn some more resources, might as well. Okay. I really want that gold mine up here. I wonder if it's depleted. Uh, nah, it looks like it's almost... Whoa. Gold is the rarest resource. Production. Zero. So tell me what the reserve is in this place. So I kind of want to capture that. Alright, uh, we're one more one turn from getting these sirens. Are you wise enough to seer? Truth? Chosen of Apollo? What does a seer do? So, standing passive is divine presence. Experience for all heroes and agents. Divine errand. When recruited, seer receives a divine mission from one of the gods, requiring her to visit a sacred site. Located in specific region of the campaign map. Should she should full of vision requests to be able to the factions leader gain them invaluable knowledge. Interesting. Own settlement ritual tree. Maximum favor is gained with the god present in that settlement's temple. The seer is removed. Um What's her mission? Let's go see what her mission is. Opportunity beckons. In any safe haven, ensure that one of the following buildings have been constructed a warrior's lodge or a skirmisher's camp. Oh, I don't know. We could actually build stuff in the safe haven. That's cool. We should send our scout ahead of us to build the safe haven. My favor. Accumulate 250 favor with any god. A mythic unit will be available. Find errand. Move a seer to Nassos. Okay. Let's get moving, lady. Got a long journey ahead. Holy mackerel. All right, well, we've got an enemy here. In case anybody was wondering. Um, Odysseus, uh, we're, we're going to need you to sail back home. <laughs> you weren't gone really long, but kind of got a problem. See, there's this giant army threatening me that I didn't realize was here. Hey, what's up, man? No need to be violent. Wow, they got medium axe warriors. Yeah, we're gonna get wrecked. Ah, it's just a little neck stabbing. Come on, man. Get over it. Well, it's a good thing for me, then, that Lapa was not producing a whole lot of gold. But that is still just a little annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, Odysseus. It's time to come home. Got a little problem brewing over here. It'll take me a few turns to get back there. I should have just stayed at sea. I probably could have gotten there quicker. Whoops. Because we get all that bonus moving at sea. That probably would have been more intelligent. Way to go, air. Alright, well, go ahead and build that. Nothing to build over here. Let's go look back at home. Might as well build up this port. And this cost me gold to build. So I'm going to hold off for a little bit. This one does not, so let's do that. Get Odysseus back, take out this little rear guard attack, and then we need to start moving the army with the sirens um, down to Odysseus. I want to get those sirens in the army. Give him a little long-range skirmish capability. And then, uh, obviously, I want to get some better units for his army, too, but we're going to need the right buildings for that. Maybe if I'm able to take the scout ahead and create a safe haven or something, we can get some cool... Units? I want to test that out a little bit. It sounds like it's more like a Skaven Undercity or something like that. Okay, listen. Listen here. Assault and battery? What a criminal. Let's do attack interval. Let's just go here. I mean, it's just some assault and battery sounds great. It's like a Grand Theft mythology. Okay. The warriors are suffering. 
Move them away from this accursed place before these conditions. Oh no! My bad. They'll live. You know, gotta toughen up. This is war. Life's not pretty when you're at war. Who are these people? Carrions? Why am I at war with them? Why don't I remember being at war with them? Well, they got people everywhere. Well, Odysseus, good thing is you're gonna get some more practice before you head on out. Guess someone wanted to contest Crete. Best to get it over with now, I suppose. Influence faction-wide. Wood cost of construction. Faster construction. Faster or recruit or cheaper recruitment cost. Campaign movement range for armies. Treasures looted after battle. Ooh, yeah, we got the bronze for that too. Perfect. I like looting treasure after battle. I mean, I like looting treasure anytime. Before battle, after battle, during battle. You know, breakfast, brunch, anywhere. It's all good. We loot. We loot and scoot. Let's see what we get here. Um, that's a negative, Ghost Rider. We're about to be at war anyway, trust me. You don't want to be my friend. You have ended a non-aggression pact with me, alright. Sure. Lose influence, gain trade, gain gold, but lose happiness. Yes, that one, please. This will help us stockpile a little gold for a few turns. Be happy with that. Alright, let's move in and get some revenge here. Where'd that big army go? Um, speaking of, let's go talk to Agamemnon. I know I will hear good sense now. Well, I hope so. You haven't been real easy to deal with here, buddy. Hang on. I'm offering to trade them a region. Or did I demand that they give me one? Did I click that wrong? Your regions. I'm offering you a region. Do they just like really dislike that one? Trade regions. Yeah, I, apparently they take real offense. Uh, that This doesn't make sense. That does not make sense. get in return here. Military? Uh, yeah, really? That's all we can get is military access. Military access? Why are you such a butthole, man? Fine, I'll keep it. I mean, you add all these diplomacy features and then the AI won't do anything useful in diplomacy. I'm like literally offering them land and wood. I know that wars can also be And he's not hurting for wood, but he could certainly use it. What a crotch! Guy's even less useful than me when it comes to diplomacy. Praise Poseidon indeed. Kate! Got some wood. I'll just get attacked here. Because Aptera is the one that we can upgrade. Uh, it ought to be a pretty stout settlement, though. I don't know. Uh, it's only got nine garrison units, though. Did I read that right? Let me show the garrison details. It's actually a really sucky garrison. Like, like genuinely sucky. Alright. Good to know. I figured it would have a good garrison, but apparently we've got to build a building if we want a decent garrison. Skirmish chariots. People said chariots are pretty OP, and I mean, it's tempting to come back here and recruit some. But they all have a bonus versus large. I'm not sure what that's all about. Seems kind of pointless, to be honest. Don't fight a lot of large in this game. I guess there are occasions. You run onto enemy chariots. Could be useful. Skirmish chariots countering like standard chariots or something. 
That would make sense if we were going to run onto a faction with a bunch of them, I suppose. Let's see. Who are these guys and why should I care? Uh, we might be able to win this. Let's try it. Hera's giving us some benefits in battle, but if I remember right, it probably helps like Spearman or something. Which we don't have. They got more infantry over here, so what I'd like to do is like really jack these guys up. Let's get our clubs over here. We'll use the clubs as like charge bait, and I'm just gonna like load on javelins over here. Got a giant vanguard. Where these guys get at? Let's take a look. See, bonus versus large. So, okay, sure. But uh, let's see the special abilities here. Vanguard deployment causes fear, so that's good. And they're also a siege attacker. Double units up here. Got our skirmishing lord right behind it. Put our giants here, and then let's uh, throw some slingers up here too, just so we got some range to counter them back. And... I think we're pretty well set to defend. Start the battle. Bring it, yay, ice gum. We're definitely short of infantry over here, but I'm hoping that the javelin barrage will kind of make up for it. We should get it. Oh my chariots! Okay, well it's a good thing we have the giant, uh, the giants over here because these chariots are about to absolutely shred me. All right, I'm gonna put the giants in there. Hopefully they'll help me stop the chariots. The foe has shited your hidden units. I mean, we are minimizing loss here. I've, I, I usually take a lot worse losses against chariots. Fantastic! We did it. We beat them back over here. We can. Uh, Redistribute this infantry. Okay, yeah, the initial uh, javelin volleys are proving disgustingly effective over here. Let our clubmen just take all the charges. Just discharge every javelin we got back here. There we go. Just let the clubs hold. Uh, get in there and help take this guy out. You got the giants helping you. Still a bunch of slingers back here, which is a bit problematic, but we'll just see if we can keep him busy. Your hero is under attack. Yes, he is. I think I remember giving him that command. It's archers, man. Don't really like that. I want to see if I can get as far to the flank as possible and drop some javelins in this fight. I wonder if we can actually like, kind of pull back a little bit with this unit and open up a javelin opportunity. Yeah, like that. Like, see, open up their flank a little, get some better shots. All right, now we've got reinforcements over here if needed. All right, yeah, our giants are definitely help us tank this fight against their uh, lord. My slingers are at least just keeping their guys busy, so everything all good. Yeah, now these javelins actually have a bit of an angle here, so we've kind of opened up that flank. These units look awesome. These guys with their Phrygian caps and... Yeah, man, that looks good. Wish Rome 2 had some of these great faces. Could have just remastered and uh, brought some of these uh, new mechanics and stuff into Rome 2, and that would have been great. Now, obviously, the unit collisions and animations aren't great in this game. Leaves a little be desired. No but the collisions were also awful in Rome too, if I remember right. Make war. I'll do it. Let's get our lord out of here and let these giants tank the rest of that. Come on, let him out. Right on it. Let's see what these giants look like. Just huge dudes. Yeah. Here we go. Shattered him. 
So that means that all they got left over here is Bowman, and they're shattered as well, so... Victory! Yeah, defending is actually a lot more fun in this game, in the small settlements. It's not great, but it's it's more fun to me than, say, like the main settlement siege battles, in the sense that it's kind of more choke point focused and deployment focused. And you can see how you can gain an advantage here. Look at my skirmishers, man. These guys owned. Absolutely owned. Fantastic. We don't really need the unit replenishment. We might as well just take the... Uh, take the uh, goods off of them. Ruler Queen of the Amazons decided to rally her warriors and lead them against you. The Amazons need a place to call home and live in peace. Once I defeat you, this dream will finally come true. History of the enemy. Enemies intend to sack any settlement you leave unprotected. Scouting reports indicate that their soldiers have grown bold. History of the enemy. Okay, they don't like what I did to Sparta. Well, you know what? Get, get over it. <laughs> Sparta doesn't like what I did to Sparta, but you know what? I don't hear Sparta complaining about it. Spill some blood. I will spill some blood. Sounds like a good plan, actually. Back. Thanks for the suggestion. Lost some sword skirmishers. Well, that's okay, because I was kind of wanting to get some new units into this army anyway. Occupy this place. Yeah, occupy this place. I wonder what happened to that 20 stack. I don't know where they went to. Got this guy on Force March. Maybe several turns. They might end up suffering some high seas attrition. Let's get ready to get seasick, ladies. Air doesn't provide a journey any more comfortable than that. What happened to our food? Why is our food so much lower? Characters, minus 8, 10. Huh? Minus 810. Oh, is it like what all my characters cost me in food? Okay, yeah, and then units. I was like, characters? What? Like, did someone get a... No, oh, I understand what they mean now. We will win through. Got it. Gain some extra after battle loot. We all know I like loot. I'll do it right. This hero do for me again. Missile damage is slingers. Okay, actually that'll be really good for our um, sirens. We'll take that. If I auto resolve this, you're gonna kill a bunch of my units. Even though I could easily win this without losing a unit. Of course they did. Free the prisoners. Of course they did. You can rely on me. I can hardly wait. How convenient. About to get another rebellion right over here too, so let's just go garrison up. Victory. No rest yet. Okay. You can take that. Got some more research we can do. Campaign movement range, minus 30 minutes. Sieges, agent actions, and sea travel. Recruitment cost of heavy infantry. Recruitment cost of medium infantry. Action cost for agents. Melee defense of all medium infantry. And I do like my medium infantry. So that could be an interesting tree to take a look at there. Let's get our bronze back here. There's no reason not to build this at this point. Tier 3 here. This 
this? So we have the giant vanguard. Armored giant spearmen. Dang it, pen them. I want to see their damage. Ugh. Or not. Giant bowmen. Interesting. Giant champions. That'd be cool to build. Have access to those units. Having them in the uh, garrison turned That's out to be super possible. handy. Helped stop those chariots, so I guess if the AI is going to be employing chariots against me, then it becomes very handy indeed. Eager for action. Shining Odysseus. Shining Odysseus. Yeah, you're always shining. Always shiny. As she sails on to Nassos, Hector of Troy, Mycenae, Sparta. Um, Negatory. Let's see. Um, non aggression pack. I mean, he has a fellow Achaean. Uh, let's go ahead and do it because I got a crap load of bronze. Maybe this will help us all be friends over here. What's going on with my spy? Uh, I need to take my spy and do some building. Really? Didn't learn your lesson the first time, huh? Does that help? A little refresher course? A little pain and suffering? Multiple deaths. There we go. Where's our divine will sitting at? So Poseidon's all the way down here. What a lame bunch of crap. There we go. Punch it back up there. Okay. Dude, you are the slowest sailor. She's got her orders. Should we go, ahead and go pick up some chariots? Let's set some watches. See, we got the skirmish chariots. Could be handy if we come up on enemy chariots or cavalry, because we really don't have a lot of counter to him at the moment. And all we lot was was some some light swords for our trouble. And honestly, we could get those ooh heavy shielded spearmen. These guys look pretty sweet. They got a lot of melee defense. They could be good at holding a line while the sword skirmishers do their thing. But I just I like my sword skirmishers too much. I really just want some uh, Ithaca warriors or whatever they're called. The the top tier. Uh, shielded spearmen. Where were they at? Yeah, right here in this top tier one. We gotta have this level five thing, but that requires five hundred gold. Woo! Well, we're not getting Ithaca warriors anytime soon. That's for sure. Odysseus of Ithaca. About half wonder. Then, do we disband? Um, Merge these units. Disband some. Odysseus, you are so cunning, sir. I got the spear runners and the uh, exemplary ambushers for getting around the battlefield quicker. Perhaps what we should do is go ahead and get rid of these. I mean, these guys haven't been proving super valuable. Um, we could replace them with these heavy shielded spearmen. They only uh, cost food to upkeep. It's going to cost me some gold to put some of these guys in. More than I have on this turn, but I could do it on the next turn. And we've also got Spear Runners, which is a light unit, but um, boy, these guys have been super handy too. They have a bonus versus all that different stuff. kind of think the Heavy Shielded Spearman could be good just for kind of holding up a center. 
and taking missile fire, stuff like that, they can uh, support the uh, heavy sword skirmishers. I think it would work out. We gotta make room for all of our um, sirens too when they come. I may get rid of uh, just the standard ambushers and that'll help make room for the sirens when we get to that point. Let's end this turn. Just get all of our armies together here to wrap up the episode and be ready to, to move out. We get to try some myth units other than just the giants we had there. Let's see what the Amazons bring against me. Very unfriendly. He wants a peace treaty. So were you the guy bringing the war to me? This is actually pretty good. I'll take that. Good idea. Good idea. Now I don't have to worry about him sailing any more fleets over here. Let's see what the Arcadians are doing. They're going to come take care of my uh, rebels? No. Nestor, really? Is there a reason for this? I mean, really? Yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense, but sure. Keep telling yourself it does. I thought this was supposed to be a Trojan War, okay? Not an Ithaca War. Just because I jacked you all up earlier and you can't seem to get over it. She's headed where she needs to go. Ooh, we're getting closer. Our sirens are almost here. By my wits. And we've got enough gold to go ahead and snag some of these heavy shielded spearmen, see how they perform. It's their melee defense and armor that I like the looks of. I don't know, see melee defense 56. Speed 40, melee attack 41. Let's see what we got here. Damage, bonus versus large. Their heavy weight class. Really attacks only 32 and damage only 95. Are these guys worth it? Maybe they're not even worth it. Armor and shield at slow battle speed. They don't have a particularly good charge. What is this ability they got over here? There's an ability they got that I can't see. It must be a factional ability. I don't know, they just don't seem that good, and these spear runners seem a lot better, even though they got lower armor and stuff. These guys can fight pretty decent in most situations, not every situation. I gotta have three slots for the sirens. Maybe what I'll do then is, uh... I'll just drop an extra heavy sword skirmisher in here. And then when the sirens get there, they'll just call it good for now. I just, I don't know. Do you all know, am I missing something on those heavy shielded spearmen? Is there something they're a little better at that I'm just not understanding properly there? Let me know. Uh, would like to know what you all think in that regard. Get some stuff built here. I kind of want to see what happens when our seer gets where she's going. Rebels. We see only shadows. King Odysseus. Move Odysseus appears. We can meet up with him on the next turn. We got rebels over here. Yep. It's alright. 
Nasos is uh, going to be decently guarded. They won't easily get through it. All right. 150 gold. Push the happiness up. We can build this Temple of Hera. Especially since it's going to help buff up our Slingers, potentially. Could be a nice, uh, nice benefit. Plus 25 gold per turn depletes local deposit. Yeah, we're not going to get any extra gold, but we could build it up nonetheless. I'm going to end this turn. I want to get my Seer where she's going, just so I can uh, understand what happens there. I haven't gotten to uh, see that event come to fruition yet, so I'm going to just stick here for another couple minutes. And then hopefully Odysseus will be ready to sail at this point. We don't have any more local enemies, but we do have the Amazons. It says they could come in. I don't know exactly how all that works. Like, they're just going to show up out of the blue. These barter agreements suck, and I really wish you all would quit asking me for them. No! I guess I only had so many turns to use her, and I was late, and <laughs> one turn too late. <laughs> All right. Lesson learned the hard way there, folks. Apparently, if you got yourself an epic agent, you best to use them. So, well done, Air. Guess you just have to pay more attention to those uh, messages when they drop down there, so... You got what was coming to me there. <laughs> Missed out on my epic agent. Piece of monkey crap. Well, here's the only consolation. I at least get my sirens now. So we got our sirens. Uh, this this bloke is not necessary, but we, we may use him for more troop transport again to help support Odysseus. So, you know what? I'll see you all in the next episode. Done screwed up there. Done screwed up good. It's this army and land battles. Siege battles. I don't like siege battles, so I'll take land battles, please. All right. See you all next time.